guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vilnius, Lithuania, where we're actually thinking of buying properties. But before we tell you the juicy details of how cheap property is here to us, I'd love to say big thanks to Ritual for sponsoring a portion of this video, but we'll tell you more about that later. So we wanted to see if the prices of the houses added up to the value that you can get for your money. And as a result, we got in contact with a real estate agent here in Lithuania and she took us out into the field and showed us what we could actually get for our money. And we were shocked. So there are three different types of properties that are currently for sale that we looked at. Number one is currently under development. Number two is already developed and ready to be moved in. And number three is a brand new apartment complex that's being built in the heart of the city. And to my surprise, there was so much happening in that last place. And I think that the last place is um, probably where we would be most interested in um, maybe laying our roots, but we'll show you guys what we saw. Let's go. Welcome to some part of Vilnius in Lithuania. We came out here to look at some uh, new developments that are coming up because we are considering purchasing property here and um, the big shocker is a lot of these places are newly built and the prices are insane so that's one of the main reasons why we wanted to come see them but obviously these are new constructions they're not done yet so we wanted to go see what an actual finished house looked like but when we're done with this place we'll show you that place anyway some of these places I think the one-story houses they're going for a hundred and two thousand yeah a hundred and two thousand dollars euros euros one hundred and two thousand euros for a newly built place but the trick is they're not fully furnished so you need an additional like forty thousand dollars to complete the furnishing of the property which will add up to about a hundred and forty thousand which is still a good discount for a new property compared to what we would be looking at in the US so that's why we decided hey we have to come look even if it's just to come look we have to see it so anyways let's take you guys into one of these um, developing properties and we'll see So before we get deeper into today's video, I'd love to say big thanks to today's sponsors, Ritual. If you've ever watched our channel before, you would have heard me talk about Ritual. Ritual is an intensely researched multivitamin that helps both men and women fill in some key nutrients that may be missing in their diets. I'm truly a fan of the products and the degree of transparency of the company. For a long time, we have been taking vitamins and not knowing where they are sourced. With Ritual, this is not the case. Each capsule has nine key nutrients such as vitamin D3, omega-3, B12, magnesium, iron, and vitamin E. So you know exactly what you're putting inside your body. And a big plus is that the products are vegan-friendly, sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free. Ritual has been a staple for us while we travel because it's not always easy to get a balanced meal while on the go. This is why we take Ritual to fill in those gaps that we might be missing. Better health doesn't happen overnight and that's why Ritual is giving you 10% off your first three months when you go to the link down below and use our code at checkout. Enjoy the products guys and tell me what you think, but let's get back to the rest of the video. Okay, so we are in the second development now this one is what the one that we just came from this one looked like that about five to ten years ago but this is freshly newly built there's everything is furnished inside so we just wanted to see what an actual house looks like that's already done and what we could possibly be seeing in the future so this development is much closer to the city obviously the prices are much higher too and but we'll see you know it looks pretty good i think um i could see us maybe living here
Hi guys, so we are in our potential house here in Vilnius. So this is a much nicer, more appealing neighborhood because it's more developed and everything. I am standing in one of our potential kids' bedrooms one day. <laughs> But anyway, the idea here, it's a three bedroom uh, blocked house, meaning it's connected, um, newly built, everything is furnished. The only thing that you gotta do is bring your own furniture, bring your own washer and dryer, and you can start living in. Um, so you can see here, there's three bedrooms, upstairs, a bathroom with a shower and a bathtub. Upstairs and downstairs, you'll see a toilet. I think it's like a powder room, because there's yeah. no shower there. And of course, the kitchen, an extremely high ceiling, so like you can see, I can't even reach the ceiling with my tripod in my hand, and I'm pretty tall, man. So this is pretty good. The lighting is amazing. Um, everything is, it smells new. You can feel how new everything is, and it actually feels good to be here. And you have a small backyard space, which yes, is there, a plus. Exactly, there's a small backyard. You can see it actually right through here. Um, that's, that would be our backyard. A lot of these units, a lot of them were uh, built not long ago, and like this entire row is sold out. Most of this row is sold out. There's other people looking at this unit right now, thinking about buying it. So, competition is very high, and I mean, you can see why. Look at the house; it looks really, really nice. So this place is actually furnished, and it's going for one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. And they're built so good that, like, I can't believe that it's so cheap but it's built so well like you guys know we've been house hunting in the u.s and these prices are like incomparable the safety is not even a question the neighborhoods are good it's just like it's just it's a no-brainer at this point so you want to not bother going back <laughs> but yeah guys come on it's unbelievable Alright guys, so the last place we went to is called Pau Pis. It's actually very close to the heart of the city of Vilnius. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to go inside the apartments, but uh, we still came to the neighborhood to check them out because one of my friends said, hey, there's a lot of development happening there, and that was after our real estate tour. So we said, you know what? We're staying in the center of the city. Let's hop on a scooter and actually check out what the neighborhood looks like. So we actually liked this development the most. We saw pictures of the apartments themselves and sort of what it looks like from the outside and how much is happening. There's so much energy, there's so many people. It's so close to the city. It's, there's a lot of young families, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of businesses, shops, cafes, you name it, it's all there in the neighborhood. So of course the number one question is how much does it cost, right? So coming from the US, coming from an overly inflated real estate market, everything seems affordable in Lithuania. But, um, so the range of prices that we saw for studios and the less desirable buildings technically because they may be facing the north because you don't get as much sun in Lithuania, which is a big deal. Um, those studios can start at about 115,000 euros. Um, now, if you're looking at the higher end, you're looking at probably upwards of two to three hundred thousand euros for a two to three bedroom, maybe on a higher floor, maybe you want to have neighbors stomping on you. Um, it really depends on your preference and your budget. And it looks, it's pretty amazing that this is actually a development that we could afford and we'd actually probably enjoy living in it. Okay, so before we end this uh, video, I just wanted to say yes, we do know that there's a difference in affordability. We know that people in the US, especially in New York, make a lot more money than almost anywhere in the world. Um, of course, including Lithuania. But um, what we're thinking about is this could be an investment property for us. Maybe we'd live there. Either way, we're not looking to just all of a sudden cold turkey quit our American lives and then just move on to Lithuania and try to find jobs there. Um, we're thinking more long term, more sort of from higher up to see what we're going to be possibly doing with this, right? Real estate is real estate. and prices are rising and so is the cost of living in Lithuania and so are the wages. So there's a lot of good things happening there and obviously I have the familiarity and the language factor so that's why we're thinking about Lithuania in particular. You know it may be a foreign country to a lot of you but it is still the home country for me so owning a piece of property there is actually a pretty exciting prospect and seeing how much good things have happened there in such a short amount of time I think that it would be a great financial decision for us to think about it but Leave your comments down below, see what you think, and then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Maybe we'll be buying property there, maybe not there, but we're going to see how it goes. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll catch you guys next time.